Thanks for the invitation to the foundation. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, our mission at Epitel is to provide a rapid EEG where you are and when you need it. And everything that we're doing revolves around our wearable EEG sensor. That's a self-contained EEG recording machine. Attaches to the scalp with these one-piece stickers that's both an adhesive and a conductive hydrogel. And the first problem that we're trying to solve with these sensors is simply access to EEG, where you can walk into the smallest of clinics and get an EKG, but your chances of getting an EEG are slim to none unless you're in a large tertiary center that has the EEG machines, the EEG technicians, and the neurologist capable of reviewing and interpreting that EEG. So that leaves a lot of people uh, without the ability to get a timely EEG. And so we're trying to solve this problem with uh, our first solution that we call REMI for remote EEG monitoring. And so REMI is FDA cleared and now available. It uses four of our sensors, two are attached to the forehead, two behind each ear. They transmit EEG to a tablet and the tablet's running our software that simply guides through the placement of the sensors to get that recording session started. So the tablet itself at the point of care doesn't actually show any EEG at all. And what we're trying to do with this system is, is get it into emergency departments and ICUs that just don't have access to EEG or a neurologist to interpret it. So the tablet relays the data to the cloud where we are running a virtual instance of Persist. Persist allows a neurologist, preferably one within that health system, to then log in remotely and be able to review that EEG in almost real time. So the concept there is to be able to, to make a recommendation back to the emergency department or ICU staff. And with this, we're trying to use this for people who are having a neuro emergency, whether that's post-cardiac arrest, post-stroke, altered mental status, or even, even post-neurosurgery. So again, trying to use the system for provoked seizures. So our next uh, application is to um, create a more ambulatory version of this system. And with that, we are swapping out the tablet for our very own smartwatch. So now the sensors are transmitting to the smartwatch. Smartwatch is getting the data to the cloud. Exact same sensors, only we can record for 16 continuous days. Um, so with this, we're trying to solve this, this problem of being able to follow someone home in an ambulatory setting, but eventually for people living with epilepsy at home to be able to uh, count their seizures. This creates a new problem for us in that now we have the ability to record weeks and weeks of EEG and no neurologist has the time to review that kind of data. So this is where we begin to apply machine learning detection of seizures. And so what does that look like? So this is just the standard uh, persist review interface in our, what we call our 10 channel Remy montage. And so with four sensors, we've got eight electrodes. They're recording simultaneously. We can create a 10 channel montage shown here. And this is during a focal onset seizure that evolves to become a bilateral tonic clonic seizure in this format. And um, Persist has what they call their trends panel as well that allows you to see this EEG in a, a longer term. So if on the left side we have about a 10 second representation of EEG, on the right side we have a much longer representation in the Persist trends. Uh, that's about an hour, I think, in this case. So again, kind of showing that, that uh, focal onset seizure that we saw on the previous slide. Um, when we apply the machine learning, those events show up in Persist as an, an, an annotation or an event marker. And so the concept here is that you can go from event to event to event and effectively pick out the seizures. So what we're trying to do is take days and days of EEG and condense it down to a manageable number of event markers. So what does that look like in the real world? Uh, what we wanted to do was to answer a, a few questions. One is, uh, could neurologists use our 10-channel REMI format to pick out seizures? And could the machine learning help them identify seizures better? And not only that, can the machine learning identify seizures with high sensitivity? So we specifically took 10 records of focal onset seizures, 10 records with no seizures, applied the machine learning, mixed it all together, and asked them to review the CEG. And what we see down here on the right is uh, sensitivity versus false alarm rate. And so the open green shapes are individual epileptologists' performance without the machine learning. And then the closed green shapes are the same epileptologist's performance with the machine learning. The open blue stars are 
consensus performance without the machine learning, and the closed blue stars are consensus performance with the machine learning. And what we see is that the machine learning does help to improve the sensitivity with a slight increase in false alarm rate. Now, uh, exit interviews with the neurologist had indicated that they were all skeptical of the machine learning. So imagine that, skeptical neurologists. Um, they, they told me that regardless of the, if the records had the machine learning markers in them, they still reviewed the entire record no matter what. So we've got a little bit of work to do with, uh, with getting people familiar with the, our 10 channel format, but also to uh, have some faith in the machine learning. Um, the machine actually did really well. So the black diamond here is the machine sensitivity uh, of over 90% with a modest false alarm rate of about uh, two false positives per day. And in fact, the machine was 100% sensitive at identifying people who are experiencing electrographic seizures. So our future work is going to be to improve that machine learning to pull down those false alarms and, uh, and also develop a reusable system that people with epilepsy can use at home to simply count their seizures, alert to seizures in real time, and provide a forecast of your probability of having that next seizure. So with that, thank you very much.